Are we up? Yeah, we're up. Okay, let's give it just a couple of minutes because I know the last time we were like, hi, and it like started going, ah! <laughs> it was awesome. Let me post the link. Let me find it. All right, yeah, give me the link so then I can do comments. Hmm. I can oh, wrangle the comments. Video. Hello, everyone who is here, if we have viewers. It. Where is it? Hi. It's up in the... <laughs> Alyssa, the YouTube link. Oh, look Ed. next to that. It'll have the Jesus. link. Oh, my God. Thank Give you. me the link. I'm not on Skype anymore, so I'm, do it. I'm challenged. You know this. Okay, I'm going to put <laughs> in the chat right here. Oh, uh, now i got to open the chat. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait, let me paste it. I'm going to have to mute it before. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh my god, and there's me making a fool of myself already. Hello. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Do we have viewers yet? Um, probably one, which is me. Um, yeah, awesome. You'll have two yeah. in a second, which would be me. Yeah, one, that's me. Okay, let me tweet about this. Okay. We have no comments. Uh, this is when I make a comment just so that I can follow the comment feed. <laughs> Well, someone said, as Sarah said, that she will be there. She can't wait. People are excited. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I work oh, Sarah, meeting. where are you? Oh, come on. Show yourself. All right. Okay, now I'm on Tumblr. She's posting. Okay, there we go. Nice. We covered all of the, the okay. social media. Mm -hmm. Well, we might as well start um, since we have, we will have people come in. Okay, we have um, and we'll have people watch this later who are asleep. Unlike our I'm lovely friend Kat. Hi, from Germany. <laughs> it's 3 so, a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we love Kat because it's 3 a.m. And that's dedication to TMI Source and the Shadowhunter Hangout. So. And Natasha will be joining us later, but she's running a little late with L.A. traffic, so yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> well, welcome everybody to Shadowhunter Hangout. This is number four. Oh, wait, hold um, on a sec. Wait, do that again? Uh, Oh, wait, yeah, do that again with the uh, welcome. To just, just do it, just do it, just do it. Welcome, everybody, to Shadowhunter Hangout. Okay, give it a second. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> it, has a delay. it was terrible. Now it put is. the put the sounds away, because you I get can't. carried away with hey, those. Kat, you want to hear my wool hair and No, no, tell her no. <laughs> Put it away, Alyssa. Put it away. Okay, I'm mixing out of them. They're gone for now, I promise. Only for All now. right. I um, can't promise that. First things first, if you're just joining us, if you have never joined us before, we would love to see your comments. Um, that's how I moderate, and I look at everybody's comments, and then we I pull them into our conversation so you guys can be a part of our conversation. So that's yeah, why we can all hang it. out. Are we at six viewers? Yay! So people are still arriving. So we can yes. like, babble for a minute, I guess. That's fine. Well, that's how we can recap, and then people can come in, and then we'll get into the juice when people are here. Yeah. So let's recap a little bit of the news, shall we, ladies? It was a busy week. It's always busy. Oh, I thought I just heard, like, a sound. Okay, so we've had a lot of news happen this week. Um, should we take it topic by topic? Sure. Alyssa, you take the first topic, and then, Kat, you take the second topic. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the first one item we have on here is um, the Infernal Devices movie has a screenwriter. Yeah! Stephanie Sanders. So there's a possibility that they're thinking ahead. Now, I know not a, not all fans are like, woohoo, the Infernal Devices movie, but I am. Me too. So deal with it. I need to see Will Herondale on screen. I just, I need to. I'll probably yeah. cry. <laughs> Kat, what are, what are your thoughts about this subject? I'm feeling very divided because, you know, in the Infernal Devices, there's this one part where it says that, uh, will he look so handsome? And I think someone made a post on Tumblr about it that it would be really difficult to cast him because he yeah. looks like, I don't know, the most handsome guy ever. And um, I don't know. I don't know if 
people outside of the TID fandom would be interested in seeing Victorian London. Um, I mean, guys are interested in Victorian London because of um, Sherlock Holmes, so Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. But I don't well, know then if... there's also Downton Abbey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Downton Abbey is is already the 20th century and not Victorian. True. Abbey. By like ten years, but still. But then this is a Shadowhunter Chronicle series, so there's action. So I definitely think that'll attract the guys, yeah. and I think that Mortal Instruments will lay the groundwork for the world, and it'll yeah. build a fan like a following, and then they'll be like, "Oh, look, there's more," and kind of continue that. Yeah, I think with the fact of like, you know, Will being not as. Um... Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I I think with Will not being as um as cute as what people think, I think that's in the eye of the beholder. I mean, a lot of people didn't like Jamie when he was cast as Jace, and Jace is described as looking, you know, super mega foxy, awesome hot, you know, and he he's supposed to be like the cutest guy ever, and uh, you know, in my view, he's not the cutest guy ever, but his personality makes him cute, and so it's just I think it's in the eye of the beholder. But I'm really excited because I just want to see it. I want to. I want. I want to. Like, I don't want it to end, and that's the way that it will continue in my head. I would quite like a BBC series, and I think that's also what Cassie tweeted once, because in the BBC series you have more room and you've got more time to develop the story and to show the different characters, and that would be cool, I mean, but a movie is fine as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely like, casting-wise... I mean, it's like a rule of thumb. It's, I mean, if, if it doesn't happen, there's something wrong. If a fandom doesn't care passionately and, like, hate the cast, it always happens. It happened with Harry Potter, with Twilight, with Hunger Games, with Mortal Instruments. It happens with, like, every cast. It's kind of like, because they don't match the image in your head, which, we, I mean, let's just face it, that's never going to happen. But, yeah. I mean, and then everyone comes to eventually love and accept them, but you have to see them in the role. Like, but, yeah, it, it happens all the time. So, but, yeah, casting wills. And casting Will and Jem is probably going to be the really hard <laughs> for the fandom. Yeah. But at least we'll know that we will have a super mega hot Magnus Bay. Yes, yes! <laughs> yes. We love Magnus! Sure and we will be talking about Magnus a little bit more. Yeah, um, Kat, did you want to bring up our second recap news? Um, the second recap news is that we got a new promo picture. <laughs> we have our Shadowhunter heroes and Simon strutting and being all sassy <laughs> with a black background and fog and everything. It's all, it's still blurry, but I hope that we'll get uh, a high quality picture soon. Yeah. Um, it's really, really exciting, I think. And the other picture that we got was an full, uh, a full um, Jace shot. So oh, we ban had... me. <laughs> 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 oh, Lisa. Lisa's in love with Jamie. Jamie. I have a oh, Jamie. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in love with Simon, so <clears throat> yeah. So I have, anyway. I have a hot for the entire cast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we've got a hot pass. So we've got um, we've got Jace's picture at WonderCon, and now we've got a better version of it because we see more of him. So that's the second news of the week. Definitely, definitely. And like one of the things I want to say about the promo picture, and I've seen it a lot, of, like on Twitter and like Tumblr and in the comments, is people are like, "It looks like Twilight." I'm like, "Okay, Twilight did not invent the." walking towards something <laughs> in a promo shot. I mean, I mean, just like they didn't invent vampires. When people see something in vampires, like, oh, it's Twilight. They ripped Twilight off. No, vampires have been around forever. Same with people walking and looking all sassy. Like, and the Twilight people don't look sassy. They just look like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, just think of the cast walking and, and an explosion walking or going behind them. That's yeah. totally old and everybody's seen it before. It, yeah. yeah. I think it's because it's a young adult series and everything. They're gonna tr find every. Well, it's the easier. Them. It's the easy reference. Let's just yes. face it. It's the easy reference. So yep. yeah. Maybe this is coming though. Yeah, definitely. Um, we also got a hot topic clothing line. 
which I don't shop at Hot Topic, and I don't think anything that they make would fit me. But yay for everybody that can. <laughs> well, at least you've got Hot Topic in the USA. Hello, uh, over here in Europe. I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> I'm just gonna go broke with all the merchandise. But also Hot Topic. They're besides the clothing line, they're also gonna have like accessories and little novelty items, like posters and like stickers and magnets and all the, like the little other stuff. So they better have jewelry. Let's just say oh that they better. Have jewelry. Give me a replica Morgan Stern ring, please. Well, I'm hoping for rune tattoos. <gasps> yeah, they so have I those. will put all the runes on my arms. Oh, have... that's a good idea, yeah. I think they're going to have them, because they're going to have them in the mini kit that um, Running Press is putting out. Yeah. So nice. Tell them... So you will see one here. <laughs> and then like, pretend to like draw with eyeliner and have it look all like, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it with pen. It works better. Or with Sharpie. You're, but you I know. can't draw. That's the thing. I'm no clarity. I can't draw to save my life. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I also can draw. I can barely draw an angelic <laughs> powder room. God. Yeah. Um, we have a few people that said hello. We have um, just a... Yeah, we just have a few people that are saying hello to us in the comments. So keep comments coming. That's how we let like bring you guys into the Shadowhunter Hangout. Um, yeah. just a couple of other things. Um, let's see. I'll talk about this. We have the movie tying covers. Yay! I'm excited about that. I thought that they look very good. I think, you know, I think it's kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of the movie covers of books. I am definitely a fan of, you know, the original covers of books and things like that. So, um, but yeah, I, it's, it's fun. It makes the movie a little bit more real, which is good. By the way, Google won't acknowledge my existence today. What? Have you noticed that? What? Google won't acknowledge my existence today. It's all what right, is, though. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> on my, on my uh, screen, it never shows me up when I'm talking. Oh, okay. Does it do it for you guys? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Never mind then. I'm just being vain. So... <laughs> <laughs> You're so vain. Okay. Um, that dated me. So, <laughs> so we have the, the covers, but we also have, we didn't, we have the movie guide. Now, is that like the book oh, Natasha as well? Is. Oh, Natasha! Hey. Hi, Natasha! Hi, Natasha! Hi! <laughs> how, was, how was traffic? We can't hear I, you. If you're typing, then we can't hear you. I can't hear anything. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Can you hear us now, Natasha? Oh, no. Where's my sound? We can hear you. Oh, hi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I'm Same so sorry. I'm so late. How was the traffic? It sounded fun. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> let me just tell you really quick. I had to go there for an event and stuff like that and I left my house at 5 a.m. to get there and I've got there on time and I left LA at 1 30 1 30 and I just got home <laughs> oh my gosh I mean it normally takes like three hours uh, three and a half you know if it's really bad or something it took me like an hour to get through nine miles of traffic and that was just in LA so, <laughs> you had enough gas, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like really, you know, I just like I literally just stepped out of my I stepped out of the car and trashed my stuff here and now I just turned on everything. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe it." <laughs> well, we haven't gotten to the main subjects and we are okay. we are broadcasting. <laughs> but we we haven't gotten to the main subject yet. We're just doing the recap and we figured that that would work while we were waiting for you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Yay. Um, do we want to talk about any other things that we do that or just say everybody go over to TMI source. We have everything updated there. Um, let's talk about the new composer. Yeah, that's how I'm Yeah. Say. I don't know how to say his name. Cat, can you try? I, I will try because there's there's the O with the dots over it, and we also have that in German. So okay. the new composer for the Mortal Instruments City of Bones soundtrack is supposedly Atli Erwarsson. 
Yeah, I won't be able to ever say Very, that. very yeah, well not- said, Kat. We wouldn't have been able to say that over here in America. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, oh, uh, actually, he's... Where is he from? Is he from... Well, he, I think he's from Iceland. Sweden. Iceland. Iceland. Iceland, that's right. He's oh, from Iceland. He's from Iceland. So, yeah. to all the fans from Iceland, I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, but I tried. Yeah, you, so, you anyway, pronounced he's... it better than any of us could have, so... <laughs> So yeah, I've got some really weird names too. I'm like the, Gabriel Yard was easy to announced say. Announced the volcano that erupted, you know, <laughs> a few years ago, whatever that was. Oh. <laughs> like I, yeah. I screw up everybody's names in the comments, so we're good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, uh, to to Atley, he um he. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we lost Cat. Suppose, um, oh, there we Iron go. Iron Man. Iron Man, and I think guess. Kat will like this. It's Robert Downey Jr. And well, <laughs> he also, um, and I will use the German pronunciation, he also composed uh, the soundtrack for Hensel and Gretel, so, uh, Witch Hunters, oh, so the Grimm's Brothers um, fairy tale. And I, was... <laughs> I think Cat's speaking pigeon, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking German, not pigeon. <laughs> yes, because Hansel and Gretel is a German fairy tale. So, I, <laughs> so she has to say it in her native tongue. No, no, but it was buffering and it Oh, like that's it true. Kat you, Kat, you were lagging a little bit, so that was the problem. Okay. So, Hi, anyway. You're from Germany? I'm sorry. I Obviously, I missed you. But... <laughs> yes, yes so, I'm from Germany. It's... Yeah, so Kat is one of our um, staff members at TMI Source. Yay! Oh, nice. Uh, it was so funny because, like, I was ta- I was listening to the radio and they were talking about Germany this morning. How in America we say Germany, but you guys don't even say the Germany. You say Deutschland, and yeah. I don't know if that's true, and I don't know if if that's you know like uh, I mean I don't think that saying Germany is a derogatory term. So it's just weird that we say an actual different word for your country when we say like all the other. Words are the same everywhere, right? I mean, like Italy is Italy, or Italian, <laughs> and stuff, or Italia. But yeah, it's yeah. like kind of the same, similar, and stuff. So that was kind of weird. Anyway, wow, <laughs> it's, I'm it's, off on a tangent. I'm sorry, I'm just like all over the place well. right now. <laughs> no matter what, we're all gonna end up in Idris anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I am closest to Idris. So oh, that's so mean. That you know. I will wait for you there. <laughs> I'm closest to the ocean. I just have to drive a few hundred miles to the German border to France, and then I'll be there. And I'll be waiting. <laughs> I will be hanging out with a few shadow hunters, and we'll meet there. You hang out with Sebastian, and I'll oh. hang out with the Herondales. No, honey, I'm hanging out with the Herondales. We're not stay. going into that now, Alyssa, because. <laughs> We will get in a fight. Um, (laughs) Well, we also wanted to just mention that um, Cinecon is going to be coming up. Um, Where is Cinecon? Cinemacon already passed. Cinemacon. Cinemacon already passed. Las Vegas. Oh, oh, it's already passed. Yeah, it was a lot of ago. Okay. And apparently they didn't show anything new. They just showed the trailer, but they had a whole bunch of, like, nice, pretty posters hanging everywhere and... But yay for CinemaCon and yay, yay for, you know, TMI being at CinemaCon. We're excited. Yes. Yeah. So, um, awesome. Okay, and the I think the final thing that I wanted to say is that happy month anniversary to Clockwork Princess 2. Yes. Or Clockwork Princess 2. Clockwork Princess. <laughs> um, a month ago, we were all sobbing emotionally. Yeah. So I wasn't sobbing. I was desperate because... On the release day, my bookstore didn't have the book. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I, at this time, one month ago, I was texting Alyssa and, like, reacting to the book to her. We were Um, reading those last night. We were, like, reading text messages. They were funny. We're funny. I didn't really know. We're We think we're funny, at least. So, (laughs) I was. So yeah, um, just to let you guys know, we will not be spoiling Clockwork Princess, so that goes for all of you ladies as well, no spoilers, we will be a spoiler free for Clockwork Princess, however we will be spoiling 
um, the Bane Chronicles, what really happened in Peru. So we will be spoiling that. Um, it's 50 pages, and so if you weren't able to read it, go read it right now and then come back. Um, <laughs> we will. It's going to be great. So, I should we move on to the to our main topic, ladies? I'm so excited. Let's do it. So while while we move on to this, let's just go with the comments. You guys, come on, tell us what you thought about the Bane Chronicles, and we will bring that into the topics of conversation. Let's start oh with God, Allie. Megan. Oh, Megan, I am watching you. Oh, that's creepy. That um, was me. I was like, hey, commenters, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So um, let's start on my far. I think my far left is um, Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa, what did yeah. you think of the Bank Chronicles? I loved them more. I loved it more than I thought I was gonna love it. I thought like it was gonna be great, but it was so much better than I had even imagined. Like we read the beginning of it together. Like we started. We're like, oh my god, we're such can... geeks. We read the first <laughs> one together <laughs> out loud, and we had our own Ragnar voice, which was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar is like, I love him so much. I just, I love Ragnar. I just like boats. I just like boats. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many funny, like just like one-liners in this thing, and I loved Magnus and Ragnar's like character dynamic and just how they. Like he called it the yin and the yang. They just balance each other so well. They're so entertaining to read. And yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Definitely. Kat, what about you? Well, I've <clears throat> actually written a review for Team Ice Wars because for once, living in Europe has paid off and I got it before you got it. And I think it was like 6 p.m. at the. For once, whatever. I could comment on that, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> So I've written a review, and um, what else is there to say? Well, I also really love Ragnar the sweet can we, can, part. Can we, can we make a Ragnar fan club? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have to uh, officially invite uh, Cassandra Jean, because she's oh, yeah. yes. Ragnar's <laughs> she number one fan club. <laughs> yeah, but I think he was really great, and um, I also enjoyed reading more about Katarina, and I enjoyed reading about their backgrounds, how um, Magnus, Katerina, and Ragnar were brought up, and differences in their upbringing. That was actually quite heartbreaking. <laughs> and, um, well, the adventures were funny, the llamas migrating, because Magnus's music was absolutely awful. <laughs> Magnus. <is> Magnus. <laughs> Good old Magnus. <laughs> yeah, Magnus's encounter with the monkey. Um, <laughs> the plate. I, I ship Magnus. The plate. plate. I ship Magnus. I yes. already made a picture of Magnus in the plate. You did. You made it in like two minutes. You're like, you're gonna love this. I'm like, oh my god, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think their shipping name should be Maglate. Yes. So. <laughs> totally on board with that. <laughs> yeah, but but um, it was really funny, and um, what well, the end. Over of, hmm, I we'll get into we'll get into topics. We can go in, yeah. we can get into different topics. We're just asking for an overview. Yeah, Natasha. Okay. <laughs> Natasha. Oh, uh yeah, I I told I mean, um we were actually just talking about this at the um, at the podcast, the TMI podcast. But basically, yeah, I mean, I definitely um enjoyed reading it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, you know, and uh, it is—it was really, you know, I mean, considering the the amount of uh, the the size of the the book, it's there's a lot to learn about Magnus in there. Uh, it's wow. my garage. It's my garage. I'm sorry. <laughs> my sister is coming home. The end of the world, and I'm like, oh my god, not until we see this movie. Calm down. <laughs> But yeah, I totally, I totally enjoyed Magnus. I thought um, he's different from the Magnus in TMI and different from the Magnus in TID. He's like his own thing. He's learning and he's growing. He, you know, it's like almost every single time you read about him, it's it's he's kind of like he's changed and he's he's learning. Um, he's just, I guess, um, I don't know uh, a acclimatizing to his <laughs> surroundings or whatever but um 
I love the, the relationship dynamic between him and Ragnar and Katarina, like you said. Kat, um, I mean, and you learn a lot about Ragnar and Katarina that you don't get to read, you know, much about in TMI or TID. So it was really insightful and um, a lot of humor and even yeah. that, you know, that heartfelt, you know, the heartfelt part, you know, with um, Magnus and his Imasu. other relationship with Im Imasu, I think. Imasu was a little... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice but to censor yourself. Time. Good job to censoring yourself. You know, I don't at like the same him. time, it's kind of like how Magnus, you know, see, starts to see things too, you know? Like, you know, these people, they're, they're only there, like, temporarily, so he almost has to, like, shut himself off too, which Ooh. is kind of sad. I mean, you know, um, especially because, you know, they're supposed to be immortal, and you know they they have yeah. to live through all these lives and everything, and and it's just really cool. I mean, I learned to like uh, Katrina a lot because Very, she's yeah. so she's so um, she's so humane. You know, she's like the probably the most humane out of all of them because, and you know, being immortal that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So. I, I like Katarina. I think she was, I think it was nice to see her again because um, we got to see a flash of her in City of Fallen Angels. And so that was really nice to bring her back in and, and to show her that. I think I kind of have to disagree with you a little bit because I think Magnus was completely Magnus. It just kind of <laughs> brings about, out the past that we didn't know about and how flamboyant he is. You know, just yeah. exuberates that just How a little bit further. He, he yeah. is. I mean, he's a different. He's different, but he's still the same. I mean, yeah. he's, he's the agree. same in that he's Magnus, but you see, like we different. They have different sides of him, definitely. Yeah. yeah I exactly. think I think there's not a lot of Magnus um, point of view in um, in t the Mortal Instruments or in um, the Infernal Devices, and so it's very nice to see that. I, I really, really enjoyed that. I really liked just the spirit of it, you know. It was very light. It was very airy. I think it was a perfect, you know, thing to come right after uh, Clockwork Princess, which left us always in tears, you know. <laughs> so it was very light and very, you know, happy and, you know, exuberant and and things like that. So I definitely, um, definitely would agree with all of you, like ladies, that it was just, it was fun. I think it was just fun. Didn't it you guys think so it was fun? Much fun. It was yeah. definitely fun. It was, it was, it was awesome. like, so much fun, especially when you read it out loud. Like it was. <laughs> 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 It's so weird because I actually tried to do the same thing. I don't know if that's like. I always read out loud. I always read out loud. Like I'm like, okay, how does Ragnar supposed to be what French? So like, are we had it sounding the like, audio book. <laughs> the audio book always has Ragnar um, talking in a British accent, even in the Infernal Devices, um, and in and in um, this they have him talking in a British accent. So oh, I'm not okay. sure he may be English. Um, so here's a good question from Megadan 3D. Again, guys, keep putting your um, comments in. We don't have a lot of comments, so keep them in, and we are getting to them. So Megadan 3D said, did you guys picture Godfrey Gao as Magnus Bane while reading? Uh, I did yeah. and I didn't. I had to actually, like, imagine, I had to, like, pause and, like, try to imagine it because, um, that was, a, that's what I was talking about before is, like, um, I actually did try and picture Godfrey in the jungle with the monkeys. <laughs> you know, like having, him, like having that conversation with a howler monkey and stuff like that. It kind of cracked me. Hello, up. companion. <laughs> Hello, friend. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then, like, just having him, imagining him run with his tall, long. Legs and stuff like it's that. So just, long, gorgeous. Did you wait? Did you picture pantsless Magnus? Oh, <laughs> I might have, but that you know, it's only because that's all we see of him in the in the clip that they've shown on MTV. So you know, I, I have yet to see a pants Magnus. So all, <laughs> all I imagine is a pantsless one. Uh, <laughs> definitely, Cat. You were gonna say something. Um, actually, I kind of completely forgot about that. That's all right. That's all right. 
And I just started reading it, and well, he was tall, and he he had his um, usual Magnus figure, but his face it was just a blank. And um, well, the same with Ragnar and Katarina. And the only thing about Ragnar was that he was green, and he had he had little horns, but that was <laughs> it. But yeah, come, now that I think of it, I think I have to read it again and yeah, try I didn't, I didn't to concentrate on Godfrey, and I think then it's probably even more funny. I, I actually, um, for me, when I read books, I try and keep the, the, the face, I guess you can say, that I imagine first in my head. Like, when I read uh, City of Bones or, you know, reread any of the Mortal Instruments, I still think of my Clary, not, not Lily. Yeah. And not Jamie for Jace, I think of my Clary and my Jace and my Will and my Tessa. And so Magnus is always my Magnus in my head. And he, you know, he stays and he's, you know, he looks a lot different than than Magnus. But I think that's a good, you know, it's good to see that people are kind of embracing the cast um, with Godfrey Gal in, in trying to put him in that role when we're reading. Yeah, yeah. kind of like what Kat was saying about, like, how, like, I picture the characters, but sometimes their faces are blurred. So, like, I, I wasn't really picturing Godfrey. I was just kind of picturing my Magnus. It's like, I, com I like, you, I completely forgot. I was just, like, reading and having a blast reading it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, um, Jenica Durham, she said, what do you think is Magnus's best trait? Hmm. I'll go first since there's a silence. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I'm really fond of Magnus's um, insecurity because I think Magnus comes across as very secure and very confident, and you can be very confident but still be insecure. Um, and we that kind of showed it with Magnus's um, point of view, where it was like he always lied about his age, and he's like, "I'm only 200," and then he's like, "I knew Caesar." you know, Julius Caesar, and, and, you know, there's a lot of little insecurities, but I think that that's kind of endearing because it makes you, it makes his humanity kind of call to you, and that's what I, I love most about Magnus, is he's definitely a character that I relate to, because that's what I do, is I act super confident, but really I'm super insecure, so. I feel like, um, an obvious one is a sense of humor. <laughs> Just of course. Just I mean, it's just, he's so entertaining, and, like, him playing off Ragnar, and I was just like, oh, my God. He just kept baiting him, and I'm just like, keep going. <laughs> and it felt so bad, I was just like, oh, my God, you're amazing. And he just makes us all laugh, which is, I, that's definitely one of the reasons why we all love him. Well, I love Magnus because he just re cares so much for the people he knows and likes. We In t Clockwork Prince... He um when <laughs> when he's um no spoilers <laughs> yes yeah, clockwork prince when he's trying to find um the demon for will and when he's now and you found him um he doesn't ask for money and he just did it because he cares for will and he cares for the shadow hunters in New York and and I just like that he cares so much and well he saw Clary grow up and I really like that and. Uh, Clary, she was just a little girl when she first came to Magnus, and now she's a teenager. And I think you, when you see a teenager, uh, a kid, for every two years, you also start to care for her. And I think that's probably yeah. also a reason why he does so many things for Clary, but also the other shadow hunters. Yeah, then, like, Magnus right is for a minute. Like I hope that we see something like that in the movie. Like me too. I really want to see that because we know we have little Clary in the movie. Yeah meeting Luke, but I'm hoping that we get to see some with Magnus, too, maybe, like, a little flashback. But yeah. I, then they revealed that one of the Bing Chronicles is going to, Clary's going to be it, little Clary. Yep. So, yeah. so that's going to happen. Um, Natasha, what did you think? As far as uh, what I like about Magnus, gosh, it's so... I don't know, I, I it's think... It's a general question. I know. As, as, far as, as far as just, like, all right, off the top of my head, um, just his... Um, his willingness to try anything, <laughs> at least once, you know, um, he's not afraid to like pick up an instrument and how bad, no matter how bad it sounds, he'll just <laughs> try it. I mean, obviously there were reasons why he wanted to try it, but at least he did. And then like, you know, um, the same thing with um, 
Oh, I was going to say something CP2, but I won't. But basically, oh, good. He's willing to try, you know, anything. He doesn't care how it's, he doesn't care what other people think, um, you know, unless, it, unless it's a, the person that he's trying to attract, of course. But, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, um, he'll try it and, 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 uh, no matter how bad it is, he'll you know he'll still try and give it his all, I guess, um, until someone tells him otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> someone specific, I should say, because uh, no nobody else cares. I mean, nobody else he would care about. Uh, you know, he just wants to know what that person that he's interested in uh, thinks of him. So. Yeah. I think but he's yeah he's I, I mean but at the same time that that's almost like that shows his his uh, vulnerability you know in a in a weird way yeah it does I yeah I definitely agree um let's see ooh fine ooh we got a lot more uh, oh no we got some more I just think I missed some <laughs> um <laughs> um Bobcat sixty seven we're gonna come back to that question because I do want to talk about that. Um, what is your favorite line from the Bane Chronicles? That is from Sarah Rangel. I have a few, um, booked mark right here. I know, I'm going um, to right now. <laughs> I, have, I kind of have to say that my favorite thing is, um, when Ragnar says, Oh, I'm posit positively green with envy. Ragnar snapped. And then it says, Come now, Ragnar, that's not fair, said Magnus. You know that I love it when you make jokes about your complexion. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he continually teases Ragnar. And I think he and Ragnar are like polar opposites, which is why they make such good, like a such a good bro TP, you know? Oh my god, it shit then so much. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Ragnar's completely straight, but oh my gosh. I, I love their, him. I ship their bro TP. It oh yeah, so I totally ship their bro TP. <laughs> so that's one of my favorites, and then I love also, um, this wasn't a quote of what he said, but this is just marked, and this is like sad, but it says, when people died... It felt like all the pieces of yourself had, you had given um, to them went away as well. It took so long building yourself back up until the um, until you were whole again, and you were never entirely the same. Yep, that's what I marked as well. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I wanted to read that. But I also quite liked at the beginning when um, Ragnar and Magnus meet, and Ragnar is <laughs> well, We've been on holiday for the past 30 years or something, and I was like, Gosh, I knew I could be on holiday for that long, too. <laughs> but you're not but, a warlock. I know, but <laughs> imagine traveling the world for 30 years and getting to know all the countries. Well, that would be exciting. And it's completely expensive, but never mind that. There's so uh, many great lines in this. Yeah. I just said there's one in the beginning, just like... Um, Ragnar's like, I don't speak any of the things that you just said, although I must speak prattling fool since I can understand yeah. you. And then I'm just like, that is hurtful and unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that. yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. Um, I don't know. There's a lot, but yeah, I think uh, when Ragnar talks about how other women describe him as his uh, little peapot of love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, uh, what is it? Little green cabbage or something like that. And then, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Magnus's conversation with the monkey. Well, I don't have oh my, my God, mind. yes. Sorry, so I don't like that. And and then you know the the one the one line where um, I guess Magnus had to order drinks for him and Ragnar, and then and then um, he orders a drink for Ragnar. But then when the the drinks come, he's like, "Oh, these are all for me. Uh, bring another few for my for my friend." And I. Like magnets, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't have any specific uh, quotes. But yeah, I think I had that one marked that you're talking about, or something. Yeah, or something. There was after breakfast, which was five drinks for Ragnar and seventeen for Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like he needs that. to read to make uh, Magnus more or make Ragnar more interesting. Go ahead, can I, I cut you off? I also like the part where after. Well, Magnus was completely drunk and charmed the carpet to fly. And when Katerina told him about what had happened, 
and when she said, well, you actually, you were, we were in the desert and you actually wanted to be a cactus. And then you were starting, yes. then you started changing <laughs> the needles and everything. And I, I tried to shine with like accurate precision or something. <laughs> so, I don't know, so we have a beautiful tall cactus and then, I don't know, scarves perhaps and, I don't know, rings and glitter, of course. <laughs> but that would be very funny. Um, Sarah Rangel or Rang Rangel or I'm gonna say Rangel because it sounds like Angel or Ran Rangel. I don't know. Sarah um, said, "My favorite line is um, Ragnar telling Magnus that he would get the llamas to pee on his things." Oh my God. <laughs> So funny. And, be, and because because I ship Magnus in the plate. Um, yes. <laughs> um, right, and then Kat Katarina's like, Magnus, you were trying to flirt with your own plate. I'm a very open-minded sort of fellow. Ragnar is not. <laughs> when he found out that you're feeding us skinny pigs, he hit you over the head with your plate. It broke. So ended our love. All that. <laughs> we wouldn't have been between me the plate anyway. <laughs> Oh man! I also love when he is. This is what um, Natasha also said, where he does talk to the monkey. But I love where it goes, where he goes, "Hello, companion." Magnus said the monkey was terrible sound and a half snarl between a half snarl and a half hiss. I begin to rather doubt the beauty of our friendship. <laughs> like, that's a lie. <laughs> that's it. I love it. He's like. I I begin to rather doubt the beauty of our friendship. I feel like I want to say that to somebody who's like being mean to me. <laughs> I feel I rather doubt the beauty of our friendship right now. <laughs> when you you're met. really upset with someone, you should, you said you will have to say, "I'm going to urinate on all of your stuff." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna have a llama urinate on yeah, all of my stuff. <laughs> It sounds better with the llama, not yourself. <laughs> that sounds too much work. Let's just face it. I, I'll get a llama to do it. That's just too much work for me. <laughs> okay, I found something with like, even though I hate him, a massive, I just don't, oh, God, I hate him. But he said something about <laughs> Magnus' music, and just like, I was like dying after reading this, because it's just like on and on. It's like, <clears throat> when you play All of My Mother's Flowers, Lose the Will to Live and Expire on the Instant, the kuana or whatever has no flavor now. The llamas are migrating because of your music, and llamas are not a migratory animal. The children now believe there's a sickly monster, half horse and half large mournful chicken that lives in the lake and calls out to the townspeople or to the world to grant it the sweet release of death. The townspeople believe that you and I are performing arcane magic rituals. <laughs> I hate him, but I, I was laughing at that part because that was before he before I hated. Was him. a jerk. It's yeah, before and, he was oh, a jerk. I love that um, I'm trying to find it I was going to say I love that one picture that Cassandra Jean had uh, drawn up of, Mag of Ragnar and the llama oh my god yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it is so cute um, another part that I really like when Magnus was uh, completely hungover and they rocked him with the guinea pigs yes. and then, <laughs> And Ragnar's like, keep bracting him. He's like, keep and doing it. He was still kind of drunk, and he was like, I'm your new leader and everything. And I don't know, but I kept thinking about Maureen Johnson because that sounded like something Maureen would say. <laughs> so perhaps she was kind of there when, when Cassie and Sarah wrote it and uh, just... Sad. You have to include that because it's funny or something. <laughs> definitely, um, definitely. I, I really, I really like that. Um, I also really like after it's been decades after the whole guano incident, um, <laughs> where where Magnus says this constant air of foreboding that you have when you're around me is hurtful and unwarranted. You know, <laughs> I just think he's so funny. <laughs> oh, it could be mentioned, the Infernal Devices mentioned with the characters. I was like, oh my god. Yes. That was nice. I was just like, Will! <laughs> Will! <laughs> Edmund! I can't wait to read more about him in Definitely. Vampire Skies at Adam Heron Day. I feel like I need to read The Midnight Air right now. <laughs> yes, me oh too. Oh my god, I want that. I feel like TLH is um, The Lost Air or The Last Air. 
I think the it's a lost, I think it's an heirloom. Lost no. or last heirloom. We're not sure. Um, okay, so we are not getting that many uh, many comments. Oh. Um, how many viewers do we have? Um, seventeen. You guys, all seventeen of you, go ahead and oh, get over to the comments. Oh, oh there's the oh. Who, who did that? Cassandra. Cassandra Jean did this No, one. I was saying who, like, changed the screen. Uh, oh, there we go. I did. <laughs> Sorry. It's me. No, that's fine. I was just like, oh, I man. I it to not click on somebody now. I think I messed it up. There we go. Natasha. Oh, like, great. Like, did you see this or, one? This one is the one yeah. that I was talking about. Yeah. With Ragnar and the Llama. I love this one. <laughs> did, you, did you see, uh, after after the shed with Cassie, Sarah, and Maureen, um, Charlotte, Sweet Angel's age, she would draw this picture of Alec and Magnus, and Alec, he was wearing a llama costume. Yes. Did you see the picture? Yes. I saw that. <laughs> oh, so man. Cute. I got to find it now. <laughs> it's on Please. Cassie's Tumblr. Um, so what, let's, let's bring this to a topic, a, a certain topic. Let's talk about the three characters, shall we? Um, yes. we've already talked about Magnus. Let's move on to Ragnar. Um, Alyssa, what was your favorite trait about Ragnar? Um, it was just like how, just like, a, I don't know, like, I can't, like, what's the word? Um. Ugh, I'm like a loss for words. I just love like how miserable he was. <laughs> He's very monotone. I really, there I really does. love how dry he is. Like with every single thing he says, where he's just like, "There's a woman who fell in love with me in France, and she used mm -hmm. to call me my little cabbage." You know, like she, like <laughs> he just, he just comes across as extremely dry. But I don't know. I think that. That's why Magnus loves him so much, because it's everything that Magnus isn't. They balance each other out well. Yeah, they, they really do. do. Yeah. Well, well, I like that he's a pretty grouchy guy. He's he's grumpy, but he's he's still very likable because um, because of all the comments he, he made. has reason to be a grump. <laughs> Especially with with Magnus. <laughs> yeah, but but. I, I I really liked his side. He well, like you said, he's he's monotone and he is a great um, balance for Magnus and how sassy and kind of freaky Magnus is. And he's he's just yeah, he's just cool and laid back and yeah, I like that. Plus, he's totally looking better in green. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh Melancholy. Thank you, Sarah. That is the word to describe yes, Ragnar. Melancholy. Thank you. I. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, Natasha. What did you think about Ragnar? Um. Uh. Yeah. I talked about this before too. Um. Ragnar. Uh. Yeah. He. <laughs> green still works for him, but. Um. I definitely like his melancholy, self-deprecating. Um. You know, character is. Um. He. He totally, for some reason, and I don't know if, if it if it makes sense, but to me it makes sense that he reminds me of Eeyore <laughs> in a way. Yes! You no, know? oh yeah. um, because of the way that he is and everything. He's like this, like you know, his just tail not... keeps having to come off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's always looking at. He's like that, you know, that cute pessimist that you just love. You can't help but love him. And everything, especially that the guano thing, and where you know they land in there, and he's like, "I want to go home," <laughs> you know. <laughs> he's like, "I'm done." <laughs> I, I love, I love that you know that attitude, and you know, as much as he hates it, he's still, you know, he's still there to to keep Magnus company. I think we yeah. can classify some people on. Tumblr that are kind of, you know, like always that passive aggressive. I think sometimes we could just be like, they're Ragnar on Tumblr. That's just yeah, that's yeah. just the Ragnar, you know, kind of thing. Um, here's a good question from CN the Gryffindor Hugger. 
or Kyan, the, the Gryffindor hugger. Um, how did you guys like the ending? <laughs> I, I will sound off on this because I love Kitty. I love Kitty. I want to be Kitty. I want to run away with Magnus, and I want to love him for a summer. Is that because of Godfrey or because of Magnus? Or... No, because of Magnus. <laughs> I don't care about if it's Godfrey or not. Whoa. I want to be. Whoa. I no, no. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'll take them I, both. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love um Ma or Godfrey as Magnus, but Magnus himself, just Magnus, I would love to run away with Magnus. Can you imagine a summer of of Magnus? That would be fun. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. So, what did you guys think? So, I actually, um, I read The Bane Chronicles, um, What Really Happened to Rue yesterday, still your Friday, with my girlfriends, because they don't have Kindles, and I said, well, come to my place, and we'll read it together. And they kind of had the exact, uh, um, it, um, thoughts I had, so my friend, she was reading it out, and the others were reading along, and then my best friend Tina, she was like, "Oh no, Cassie, no, you didn't!" <laughs> and she was like, "What? I wanted to know what happened to them. Why didn't you tell us?" And I was like, "Yeah." Well, I like, you know, why oh we... yeah, I forgot yeah. that like Cassie totally didn't tell why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was totally, I was a little disappointed, but it was cool. Because the title is what really happened in Peru and I was like okay the really it's like it's go this the really is the magic word and this is and it's... we will get to know why he was banned <laughs> and we didn't and in uh, on the shadow hunters website for um, the Bane Chronicles it actually says uh, let me just quickly open the tab um, <laughs> it says uh, is it Cassie's it website <laughs> Sorry? Is it Cassie's website that says this? No, Shadowhunters.com. So it says, uh -huh. the planets of the mortar instruments and the infernal devices know that Magnus Bane is banned from Peru. And now they can find out why. <laughs> but ben that's not Cassie. So yeah. that's where I'm like, nope. Cassie well, never said... Didn't, didn't Jay say something along the lines of, like, this is something, like, until the time I found out what, why Magnus was banned from Peru. Yes. So yeah. yes. Knows, why don't we know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay spilled beans. <laughs> but, you know, Magnus could have lied to him. Yeah, I think oh, true. Yeah. because Magnus doesn't know either. He, he really wants to know why he's banned from Peru. Because I guess he wants to go back, but can't. And he just made up a story for Jay's. Perhaps Jay's was annoying because he was watching too much television or something when he played. <laughs> too much or what not to wear. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely imagine Magnus just pulling up something out of the air. Uh, why? <laughs> well, I thought that it was interesting that not um, it wasn't the um, country that banned him. It was the it was the warlock yeah. council that banned him. Yeah, exactly. But so I, I, I actually, it was weird how, how it came about. I mean, the story, the thing is, is that the stories were really funny and uh, insightful. So by the, by the ending, I almost like I mean, there was that a little bit of disappointment, but at the same time, I was like, overall, it was such a good, uh, you know, short that mm -hmm. I, I could almost, you know, I could forgive it, you know, for not telling <laughs> us exactly why. Yeah, I, yeah. I, that's what I said to, um, I think I said it to you, Kat, and I said, think I said it to another one of my friends where they're just like, but we didn't find out why he was banned, and I'm like, it never says why my Magnus was banned from Peru, it says, it says what really happened, it just says what happened, it doesn't say why he was banned, so, <laughs> I don't know, I, I thought it was fitting, and I thought it was funny, because even Cassandra Clare herself said, that um, someone asked her, like, either on Twitter or on a chat or something, and they said, why is Magnus banned from Peru? And she said, we'll never know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm okay with not knowing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think it's suiting to have because, some mystery with Magnus. So it was a nice payoff. I mean, like, it was entertaining, so it's kind of like, you're just, like, happy to kind of go on the, on the ride. 
Like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't find out what really happened, but it was fun just to kind of go through some of his moments in Peru. It's the bumptis. Yeah. Yeah, I think in addition to starting a Ragnar Fell uh, fan club, we should start a petition for Magnus to return to Peru. <gasps> yeah! Yes. <laughs> can we go with him too? Or whoever, bring back Magnus to Peru. And can we go with Yeah, Please. sure. Let's all Science. do this. Party for with the, Magnus. For the Peru. Warlock Council. Distract <laughs> <laughs> him. Oh, someone said that they need, um, Kyan, the Gryffindor hugger, said that she needs to draw Ragnar in an ER suit now. Um, do that and let us know, and yes, we please. will definitely either reblog it on Tumblr, definitely. well, I will, I will at least, I, I'm not oh, sure I about will, Alyssa. Oh, oh my god, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can do a fan Friday with, uh, Bang Chronicles. Oh, yeah! Maybe we then... can feature you on Bang on um, Fan Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we'll have uh, Cassandra Jean's uh, Ragnar's and well we have we'll have Alex in the llama outfit and then well your picture or your drawings. Yes. So um let's see. So um the sweet toothache says are the Bane Chronicles available uh, um, as books. They will be next fall, but right now they're only ebooks. Yeah. So, um, but you can get Kindle. I know you can get the Kindle app on your Mac and you can buy the book and read it on your Mac if you don't have a Kindle. I'm not sure about PC though. Yeah, you, um, there's a free Kindle for PC, tablet, and smartphones app and it's currently on uh, Amazon, um, um, U, um, UK, Amazon um, US, and also on the German Amazon. And there yeah. is a link on TMI source. So when you go to the post about uh, the Bank Chronicles release day, um, there are the links at the, uh, at the bottom. Nice. Yeah, same goes we for uh, Barnes and Noble, I think, too. Yeah. Like you can buy the Nook, buy the, yeah. buy the nook and then um, yeah. you have an app for your computer. Yeah. 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 So, um, here's a good question. It's not necessarily Bane Chronicles related, but it is Magnus Bane related. So, how do you guys think Magnus will react to Camille's fate? Yeah. I think he'll be sad. I think he'll yeah. be disappointed because he did really love her. And he, she, that <laughs> bitchka. <laughs> That bit Kai is the word I will use. That it's a that's a Buffy reference, by the way. That bit Kai broke his heart, you know. So it's We're it's also sharing art again. We bring it up. Sorry, uh -huh. this is from Cassandra. It just came up. So it's uh oh. it just came up. I just went up there and then this just got posted, but. It's so cute. Right. He has a monkey. I, I like, like how Magnus is like. I want a monkey, and then I'll dress him, and he'll be like me, only monkey-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually wondering when he will dress up the chairman. So I, I can remember, um, imagine the chairman wearing a little sweater with glitter oh, yeah. and stuff like that, and that would be oh. completely adorable. <laughs> oh, dress up with Magnus. Dress up with Magnus. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, that's so funny. <laughs> Um, Elise Eisenberg also said that if you have an Android phone, you can get it on Nook. You can also get Kindle on your Android phone, and you can do um, Kindle, Nook, and iBooks on your um, iPhone, if you have an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ellie! And, <laughs> on here. Oh. Yay! And um, iBooks delivers early, as we learned. Yes, they hour. do! Yeah, it freaked out when because I kept checking. I'm like, it's got to come here. It's got to come early. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's there. Yeah, my favorite thing was I got online, and she's like, I'm waiting for the Bane Chronicles. I'm like, really? Because I have it. Oh, I freaked. <laughs> I can, yeah, actually, I can just... um, my fr my uh, our other friend, um, Ellie, Ellie's and my other um, friend, um, Joan, who's in Ireland, also got it early. Well, Natasha Cruz. So, oh, I'm sorry. Did I? <laughs> I'll be yeah. Oh, God, it's so freaky. I can't help it. It's not my fault. 
It's it? all right. Okay. We need a technology rune over here. Am I still frozen? <laughs> no, you're, no you're, you're back. Oh, oh man. But yeah, my friend Joan got it too for um, early, because she's in Ireland. You lucky UK people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. And to I, the um, to the fans uh, watching this once it's on YouTube and once the German fans are up, um, definitely buy uh, the first book on Amazon because it's not as expensive as it's on iTunes. That's true. It is less expensive. Um, sometimes they do have sales, but but yeah. Okay, um, so it's the same in the US. Okay. Wait, who um, listened to the audio of the... I did! I did! I started listening. How, I, I mean, how was it? I mean, how did Jesse sound? I, know, I only heard the sample, so I wasn't sure how he did with the uh, other so, accents. So I am an audiobook nerd. I love audiobooks, um, but I like to read books and then get the audiobook so then I can just listen to it in my car. But I listen to it at work. It's like, a, like I think it's like an hour and 45 minutes, so it goes by super fast. Um, but Jesse is, he's really fun. He doesn't do as well as the accents as some of the other narrators um, in the past, like, with Daniel Sharman, he does really good at the accents, and Ed Westwick does really good with accents oh, and things like that. <laughs> Can't talk so we can see that. Oh, no, I, pu I pulled it up. I found a way. I, I, I discovered how to do something else on Google Hangout. Oh, I good job. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so um, Jesse, Jesse does do the accent. He doesn't do them super good, in my personal opinion. Um, um, but he he's fun, and that's what I was thinking. That's what I told Alyssa the other day that he he's very light and he's very frivolous when he speaks, and he and he uses that that light tone when he reads for Magnus and when he reads the Bane Chronicles, and so it's very it's very light, it's very fun, it's very you know cute. And, you know, I just, I loved it. I, it was so much fun to, like, listen to. Sometimes, care, like, sometimes narrators, when they read, um, there are certain narrators who read TMI that I, I kind of tune out, where I'm just like, oh, I don't like their voice, but it's fine. I'll just get, get through it. But, Jesse, I didn't feel that with And there are some that you obsess over. There are some that I obsess over, oh, mainly Ed Westwick, because oh, Ed <laughs> Westwick's voice will always be Will. Ed, Wes Ed Westwick will always be Will in my head. His voice will always be Will's voice, you and Daniel Sharman will always I've be only, Yeah, I've only heard Daniel Sharman, so I, I've okay, not Megan needs to send you the um, <laughs> It's Too Late scene from Clockwork Prince, because she sent me that one, and she literally listened to my reaction, and it was horrible. <laughs> and oh, she started God. crying. <laughs> so oh my god! He, he's, he, he, he like um. I feel like Daniel Sharman kind of like reads it, but like Ed just like acts it out and like he does. He, he perfect. Yeah, you feel more of an emotional attachment yeah. to um Ed Westwick's uh, narration. I feel that way, and it's the same with um City of Fallen Angels when he narrates that one with um Molly C Quinn. You know, he's very into it. You know, he's very into Simon. He's very into Jace. He's very, he emotes that emotion with his voice, which is, you know, very talented in my... Also, Ed did both the, the two books. Yeah, he did, um, he did part of City of, or part of um, City of Fallen Angels with Molly C. Quinn, and then he did um, part of City, or uh, Clockwork Princess, or not Clockwork Princess, Clockwork Prince, cool. with... Another Lindsay, <laughs> someone. I did a, I did a review. I did an official review for TMI Source, so you guys can check that out. And I will be updating that with Daniel Sharman and with Jesse. So and with oh, that's another thing. So Ka Cassie and Sarah and Maureen were all in a chat, and they um they talked about the Bang Chronicles and what's to come. We aren't going to go too much into that because it was extremely Clockwork Princess spoilery. But, but one thing that they did say is that they're going to try and get different um, people to do every single Magnus Bang Chronicles, which that makes me go, yay, I'm so excited! 
Yeah, that, I mean, um, that, I, th I guess because that was Jesse's first time doing a, uh, an audiobook, so maybe it's because, you know, he no, doesn't normally read, you know, out loud these things. It's uh -oh. fully new. Oh, there she is. We almost lost you again, Natasha. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, we, have an, we have a question. Sarah Wrangle, she asks what our URLs are. Alyssa, what's your URL on to on Tumblr? TMISource.tumblr.com. <laughs> and Natasha? TFGeekGirl.tumblr.com. And you Kat? In the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh. My URL is Kat Reads Books. And mine is, mine recently changed. I was Mego Productions. I'm Mego Productions on Twitter still. But I'm Heart of a Herondale on Tumblr. Oh. Did you just say, oh? <laughs> <laughs> the Herondales, I swear to God. We're not, we're not going into that. <laughs> Stay away from the spoilers. I want to talk about it so much. We Stop it. To, Stop off, it. When we're off the air, we can do it. Because I, <laughs> I have so many Herondale feels. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. High voltage Jack just said, Gem and Will, oh, the feels. Oh, <laughs> um, okay, so you're not having a lot of people comment, so let's make Megan make up questions. Yay! <laughs> um, uh, when you read, when you read what really happened in Peru, did you want to, do you now want to go to Peru and see all the sides? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. Been to. I totally wanted to go to Peru all of a sudden. I was just like, I want to go to Peru. Oh I don't god. want to be a pirate or group anything. Trip. I just want to go. Field trip. <laughs> group field trip. I know. You all ride llamas in the, in the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> and my <laughs> monkey friend. <laughs> and get wasted. Yeah, I don't know about the, the tropical rainforest thing, but I'll deal with the llamas. <laughs> yeah. And and also, oh my gosh, they eat guinea pigs. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's oh actually god. not that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> or the, guinea or pigs they don't taste that, that bad. I've tasted kangaroo. What are oh you going to do? Yeah, me too. It's, it's alright, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for eating a do like, dolphin. Well, and it wasn't even a dolphin. The, it was just it's fish. a thing in Australia, so, you know, I had to have, had to try. <laughs> guinea pigs, guinea pigs are tough, and they're just—they just don't taste like the what meat you are expecting them to taste like. Oh my god, I'm emotionally scarred right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't want to go to Peru, but I just want to be Kitty. Oh, like I think that that would be perfect because Magnus, you know, it talked a little bit about Magnus, and it talked about how he loved someone, and it was the first person that he had lived with and that he was with her until she died, and that's why for 30 years he, he was on holiday. Um, and so I really like that, but I, I just think that relationship with him and Kitty, that's perfect for me, because it's like, let's just have the best summer that we could possibly have and be in love and just have fun for the summer, and then you go your way and I'll go mine and we'll be good. Because I think Magnus... I don't, I don't want to marry Magnus, but I just want to have fun and be in love with Magnus for a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, so until, he, until he drives you crazy, and then he can just... I don't think Magnus would drive me crazy. I think I, think I would drive him. Magnus drive crazy. <laughs> but Magnus, he will probably go shopping with you. Oh, and I don't like shopping. Yeah, no, I know <laughs> you. He would but, probably make me go shopping. Yeah, but talking about his love life... <gasps> Oh, oh don't go I there, Kat. I like moments when um, Magnus said that he doesn't usually talk in his mother tongue, so he doesn't usually talk in Indonesia. A and then we've got page 511 in City of Los Souls, <laughs> and we know what he says to Alex. And Look we also at Kat go. go. Look at Kat go. Bring up the feels like that. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to it's fine. The Phantom acknowledge, like, doesn't even acknowledge that, they exist, <laughs> that that happens. We, we like just that ignore page. it. We <laughs> know that page. Yeah. Oh, that's true, though. It, I, I do like what Kat 
not brought up though. It is it is something that we could probably talk about where where we get to see a little bit more of Magnus and and it says you know he doesn't live with someone until he's truly in love with them and and he only speaks um, his native tongue when it's extremely serious to him and you know he he usually doesn't think about mortality and he usually lies and and he likes to keep things from the the his lovers because it's hard to open up for him because it's you know it's so it's it's hard and it it's not a good past and so that's really it kind of foreshadowed a little bit for um city of heavenly fire what do you guys think um i'm going to die reading that book yeah that's what i think <laughs> Uh, two things. First of all, bitter sweetness in there, yeah. Oh, oh, who's that? Who's that? That's Ragnar again. Yay! But two things. Um, first of all, um, Magnus speaking Indonesian is uh, it's similar to Gideon uh, Lightfoot speaking Spanish when he's in a good mood. Oh. And talking about <laughs> foreshadowing, Magnus's father. That yes. was the that question that I skipped. Is <laughs> let me scroll down really quick. Okay. To what was his name? What was it was a he. What was your name, man? Bobcat or girl. It could be a girl. Bobcat sixty seven. Any ideas about who his father actually is? Could it be Satan? Slash Lucifer. Yes. I think it could be anybody. Yeah. But I, I'm on board with Megan's theory. Oh, my theory! <laughs> Do you want to hear my theory? Yes. If it's the same theory as mine, yes. <laughs> I think I think it is the same theory as yours, um, Natasha. That um, I think you and I met, talked maybe talked about this when we weren't doing a, a Shadow Hunter hangout, but it was a. Um, we know that Tessa has a, a, sorry, a demon father. And we know that Magnus has a demon father. So it could be that they could have the same father and that Tessa and Magnus are half brother and sister. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was my That would be awesome. I love that idea, but it scares me at the same time because... We still haven't read City of Heavenly Fire, and I'm just I'm just scared that this revelation might, you know, be known too late for some people. Oh yeah, God. you know, something tells um, me that I'm wrong. <laughs> hey, you were wrong with the CPT. Yeah, you were. I was into. wrong. I was so happy that I was wrong with. Oh my God. I never even yeah, but we're not talking yeah, about that. What to talk about? <laughs> that's another. That's another hangout. <laughs> We'll do a completely spoilerific yes. Clockwork <laughs> Princess. That'll be fun and emotional. Bring your Kleenex, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that Magnus' father could be Satan slash Lucifer because we have this one scene where Magnus is holding a witch light and usually only when a shadow hunter touches it that it's, it actually lights up. But it also lights up when Magnus touches it, and it acts kind of weird. It's but, a different color. You know, it's red yeah. instead of and, blue. And Lucifer, he's also known as the light bearer. So perhaps his offspring, Magnus, could somehow... Well, I... The Woodstone. The I asked Cassandra Clare. I asked her. I said... Is Magnus's father a greater demon because, or is a greater demon, or are greater demons um, all fallen angels? And she said yes. What? So it could be that Magnus's father is a fallen angel. Um, well, it's very, very possible that Magnus's father is a fallen angel, and Lucifer did fall. Mm -hmm. um, so. I don't know. It it could be, but I feel like it's too obvious. Like that's the only reason why I'm not going to the whole Magnus's dad is Lucifer thing because I feel like it's just way too obvious. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you think, Natasha? You've been quiet. Um, 
Yeah, I don't I don't know about I don't know about that. I mean the I think there was hints about something about it about it in, in in this in this short, but I mean it it's still very speculative. I'm not I, I wouldn't I just I still have that strong theory about him and Tessa. Yeah. Uh, um being uh, born with uh have the same father. And I think wasn't it that Tessa, uh, or I'm not going to say much more than that, because <laughs> that's going into CP2 territory, but, um, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm not sure about the whole Lucifer thing. <laughs> yeah, what about, what about you, Alyssa? I'm on board with your theory. <laughs> <laughs> I would I like that I theory to come much. about. I know, I want it very much. And that and that would be something that would kind of like shock the fandom too. And I think so too. I think so too. So, so um, oh, go ahead, Cap. I, I think it would be very nice for them to be siblings because they are both immortal. And although there are lots of people around them who aren't immortal and who will die eventually, they still have each other to um, to support each other. So they could meet. Occasionally, and then they could chat about yeah. old times. And <laughs> I yeah. totally have a fan fiction about this. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> totally survive. fan fiction. If they survive, I say. If they survive, <laughs> uh, I oh, will say oh. I I could say something about that whole phrase that makes me happy, but I'm not gonna tell anybody. Oh my gosh! Right here, because it's a little Tumblr, bit of a spoiler. I saw a post, um, and, and someone said, "What if?" Cassie has written the Bane Chronicles for us and shows us this completely different side to Magnus, and we will love him even more. And I then, am, am. in City of Heavenly Fire, he, well, you know what? No, I'm 100% positive that Magnus, at some point in his life, was 100% evil. I have such a strong feeling about this. <laughs> I do. I think that he was an evil warlock and he did evil things. And he did, that is why he lies and that is why he does like pushes Alec away because he doesn't want Alec to know. Oh. That's my thought. That's interesting. That's he my might thought. Have done evil things. So what did he do? Warlocks can be evil. Warlocks can torture people. Warlocks could, you know, take control of people. They, you know. And so we'll there, a glimpse of that in, in another Bane Chronicles installment. I'm hoping that we do. Like part of me, part of me really feels the rise and fall of Hotel Du Mort. Ooh. That was, um, sorry. What was that? Oh, one of the upcoming installments, the rise and fall of Hotel Du Mort. Oh yeah. Out, but. But seriously, why would he fall in love with Camille, who is so obviously 100% evil? And why would he so be in love with her if he there wasn't a little bit of evilness in Magnus? <laughs> I love Magnus, there. and I think I think that's why I like him so much is because when you have a fall, there's a redeeming quality. And so when you come back from that, you just love that character more, and that's why. I don't know. That's just in my headcanon. I don't know if people accept that headcanon head or not. It's an interesting one. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Bobcat67, we have some more comments, there we go. So Bobcat67 says, Cassie did say that their respective fathers, I think they're meaning Ka um, Tessa and Magnus, that their respective fathers were um, pretty big demons in terms, yeah. or demon terms. Yeah. Yeah. Greater Magnus' demons. father is a prince of hell, and I think there are seven princes of hell. There's, Sa there's Satan, there's Lucifer, and they're Satan seven. and Lucifer are the same person. Well, not if you Google Princess of Hell, I think. If I mean, you go, if you, if you go, okay, Lucifer became Satan when he fell. Yeah, I'm a Bible yeah. nerd, so <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's how I know it, is when he, he was Lucifer in heaven, and then when he fell, he became Satan. So okay. that's yeah, I don't know. But that's that could be true. Um I found a comment. 
Ooh, who's, go for who, it. Who's your favorite character? Like what? In just the Bane Chronicles? Kitty. How many people are watching? <laughs> um, fifteen. 15. Oh, we lost viewers. Oh, left yeah. That's all right. We're doing it a little. Well, we did it at the same time, but um, let's it's a Friday see. Day. Maybe people are out. <laughs> Ragnar. Ragnar. It is Friday. Um. Okay. Someone said, I thought, or say, Alice, or Elise Eisenberg said, I thought Alec asked Camille if it was Lucifer, and she said no, that it was the only answer she actually gave. I think Magnus lied to Camille. I think Camille thinks, like, is saying that she knows who Magnus's father is, but she is a master manipulator, like Magnus yeah. said. And she had no idea who his father was. I don't think Magnus would tell I don't easily think who told his anybody. father was. Yeah. So. Well, I don't know. I mean, he um, he did open up to her more because, or maybe not because she, maybe she was just remember how Alec wanted to um, wanted to talk to her about Magnus because Magnus wouldn't open up and in Coles. And stuff, and then she was like teasing him, but maybe she didn't really know anything about Magnus. I don't think, I, I think she knew some. Yeah, she probably knew a little bit more, but probably not as much as Alec had wanted her to, had wanted to know about. Yeah, she was playing with him though, too. Perhaps, yeah. you know, so, perhaps there was also some hearsay. I mean, she's immortal, he's immortal, and they kind of were in the same circle, so perhaps she had heard several bits about Magnus and uh, his father, but maybe she just doesn't know or didn't know if it was true. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um... Although, although another theory is that he could have told her stuff and because she broke his heart, he's unwilling to open up again. Yeah, that's true. I just... I feel like if someone broke his heart, he wouldn't open to up to them as much anymore. Like, because he lost that trust, and trust is so very important to Magnus. And so, I, I'm not, sh I'm not sure. I don't. I, I still feel like Camille was laying it on way too thick, and I think Alec ate it up because she's old, and she knew, um, she knew Magnus before, and so it was the perfect opportunity for her to be like. Yep, I can I can tell you some things, or I can tell you a little bit of the truth, but you know, feed you mostly bullcrap. Yeah, especially um, because Alec didn't do what he want what she wanted him to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Definitely. <laughs> um, let's see. We need to have like a city of heavenly fire just theory chat. We do. We'll we'll make themes, and we can have themes for all of our. You know, Shadow Hunter Hangouts. We just have to have more people come. Yep. And we're trying to get some So everybody tell your friends. And we're trying um, to get some special people to come on. So. <laughs> Bobcat67 says, Magnus' daddy issues will make Freud Chronicle pretty interesting. <laughs> Please, no Freud Chronicles. <laughs> I don't know if I want to hear those. <laughs> Oh, that Marie, would be hilarious. Marie Johnson, she wants the Simon Chronicles. <laughs> the Simon Marie Johnson Chronicles? Wants Simon anything. <laughs> yeah, hey, which that, hey, that led to Megan's theory, but that's the name Heavenly Fire related. What? What? The, the, the Simon Chronicles, remember? Oh, yeah. Do I, do I dare say that? Because it's kind of, it, it's not really spoilery. <laughs> it's okay. just what I think. Yeah, it's just okay. Really I'll okay. So in, I'll I'll just go ahead. And, if you want to avoid spoilers of either City of Heavenly Fire or of the chat that Sarah Reese Brennan, um, Maureen Johnson, and Cassandra Clare did, you may want to mute your computer just for a little bit. But one thing that I noticed is that um, somebody asked about Simon and what he would do. Like, or no, somebody said. What what about the the Simon Chronicles and what he's going to do? And Cassie said, 
Well, Simon will go and and he'll be in the future and he'll go and do spy, space rocket ships or something like that and be a vampire in space. And of course she was kidding. However, are you guys still there? You guys are all frozen. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> You guys all were like, <laughs> no, we are hanging on your every word. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. So, however, Cassie said, Simon will dot, dot, dot. She went on to say, Simon will this, 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 this. If Simon died in City of Heavenly Fire, <laughs> wouldn't you think that she would have said, if he survives, That's but true. she didn't. Mm -hmm. She said, Simon will dot, 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 There's dot. There's hope for Simon. So I think Simon's totally living through City of Heavenly Fire. Fingers crossed, but let's also hope that Izzy will also survive. Oh, oh I think Izzy's a goner. Yeah, I, I yelled at her <laughs> about that. I yelled at Megan about that theory. I just, no. Really sorry. No, no Izzy dying. No, no. No, no. Sorry. And then it kills her more when I think that Alex's going to die, too. No, both of them are going to die. I'm like, no, 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 no. But it is possible. But it's possible. No, 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 no. Okay. No theory time today. We'll have to have one that's completely theories. Sarah Wrangel said, can we please have a CP2 hangout soon? Yes. We will do a um, Clockwork Princess hangout where it's completely devoted to Clockwork Princess. And, yeah, we did one and, earlier, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't as structured as what yeah. we're doing. So let's, I think we're, do we, do we feel like we've covered the Bane Chronicles pretty much? Yeah. Any last, yeah. any last sentiments about the Bane Chronicles? I love Magnus and Ragnar. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a, definitely a, a great start to yes. nine more. Nine more. Yeah. Nine more, right? <laughs> which, is, which, is like, which is technically 500 pages, 50 times 10, yes. as I pointed out. Yes, yes because Cassie said that um, each installment is around 10,000 to 15,000 words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm, well, I'm looking forward to... The Bane Chronicles number four, the yep. Midnight Air. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. And uh, Edm um, Vampire Scones and Edmund Herondale. We, we, get, we get two months of Herondales. And, and then also Magnus Welcome going shopping for Alex's birthday. <laughs> yes. I think that'll be interesting. I know that Tessa says, um, never mind. And are they um, even really dating anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so let's, any other comments? No. Nope. I love Magnus, and I, I want to be Kitty. Um, okay. <laughs> so let's move on. Today we are going to start a new thing that we are going to do a chapter by chapter, which is where we overview just chapters of um, City of Bones, and we're going to start with City of Bones. Today we're only going to do one chapter, we may do multiple chapters in we the can, future. We can, we can also talk about like the movie too. Yes, we can. We like relate it, especially the first chapter. So yes. Most of that. It'll be very, very interesting. So today we are going to be talking about oh, <laughs> Natasha. Oh my God, Sorry, I'm using that. a screenshot to, just so that you can ooh, not see. Ooh la la, Magnus. Okay. I had to I had to get something, so I was like using that. Oh, um, okay, you're fine. I'll just I'll I i will not call attention to it. So, so, I have to get my City of Bones book. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I just have it on my phone, so. I got my iPad. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so chapter one is Pandemonium. Yeah. So Pandemonium, as we all know, is this club in New York that Clary likes to go to and likes to drag Simon to, and he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes because he's in love with Clary. Let's all say, face that, right? Simon. Um, what? <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He's in Wait, have you read this book? <laughs> you may... <laughs> Spoiler alert, if you haven't read the book. Um, or seen the trailer. Alert, or seen in the, the name Pandemonium, there's actually demon inside. Yeah, <laughs> on the 
trailer. I thought it was very interesting that they. I, know, I noticed that before, Spoilers. and then I love that they put it in the trailer. That was cool. yeah. I was like, yes. and the angelic power room is a very nice touch too. Definitely, definitely. There were so many angelic power runes in the trailer. I know we're gonna get a lot of those. A lot of. I'm excited. I'm remembering mine right now. Oh, look at her yeah. show off. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also. <laughs> She's team wearing good. the team good. I <laughs> clap her over there somewhere. <laughs> I'm wearing blue. Yeah, I went there. I'm, I'm being random. <laughs> I have sparkles on my nails. <laughs> For Magnus. <laughs> well, and Back to chapter one. It looks like I just flipped the computer off. I didn't flip you guys off. I'm just trying to show you my nails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ladies, let's talk about first reactions to chapter one when you first read this book. God, I gotta go back um, like five years. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. So, let's see. so long ago for me. I Tasha's the most recent, so go and crush. I know. I <laughs> Mine was last year, last August, I think, so. I thought it was actually, like, I was surprised at how fast it got to the action. Because normally, you know, there's this whole build-up and everything, and you got to know the characters and stuff like that. But for this one, I mean, they went straight into it, I mean, pretty much, you know. Um, so I was, like, already intrigued with uh, with it. Definitely. Yeah, I have to be completely honest. Uh, I shipped Clary and the demon. Demon? <laughs> the oh, oh, that was the I... first ship of TMI. Everybody yeah, shipped that. Really I thought he was going to be the main guy. I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly there's Jace, and he's completely different. And he's, all he's such an <laughs> asshole. I fell in love with him in this chapter. Because <laughs> he was an asshole. <laughs> uh, okay, so I will, I will tell my experience with this first chapter. Is I actually knew the end of the book before I read it. Oh, um, which was very rare. Um, but I, I went in and my friends were just like, we dare you not to ship, you know, Jason and Clary. And so I went into it and I was just like, okay. And Simon showed up and I was like, okay, I love Simon. He's hilarious. Look, he, he's making jokes about his, her, his mother cross-dressing or like him, him dating her, his mom and him cross-dressing and like totally being out of place in a club. And it's just like. I loved Simon. I think Simon is Simon's lines is what got me really into um, the book. <laughs> Just that whole here. Where is that line? My it's like my favorite line ever. Where he goes. Oh, it's I'm not gonna find it. That's gonna be <laughs> awkward. Oh, where he's like, I for one am enjoying myself immensely, and Claire's like, mm hmm, and he's like. I feel like the, um, this evening, evening, DJ Devat is doing a singularly particular job. Don't you agree? I'm like, can you just imagine this in a huge club? And then he goes, Me meanwhile, I wanted to tell you that lately I've been cross-dressing. Also, I'm sleeping with your mom. I thought you should know. <laughs> And then finally Clary realizes, and she's like, Simon, and he's like, what? I'm not really sleeping with your mom, you know. I'm just trying to get your attention. Not that your mom isn't a very attractive woman for her age. <laughs> so, yeah, I fell in love with Simon, and I was like, okay, I'll ship Simon and Clary. That's that's my ship. I'm not going to go with this whole brother-sister crap. Are you kidding me? And I ate my words. <laughs> oh. I will be on hold. You guys talk it. about it. I'll be on hold. Okay. Oh, she <laughs> muted herself. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So. Okay, Kat, what did you think about first reading it? The first chapter. Uh, uh, so long ago. Um, well, I liked the demon, like I said. And I also really liked... Simon and his lines because Simon he's just hilarious and then when well when the shadow hunters are dealing with the demon and Clary she can see them I'm like why can't she see them so 
that's that's like the question of the first um, the ch chapter. She appears to be a normal girl, and then she can see these guys, and the others can't see them. So, like Natasha said, we are right into the action. We have this question: What's up with Clary? Why is she the way she is? So, I really like that, and also the attitudes of Alec, Izzy, and um, Jace. I really oh, like perfect. that. And yeah, the little girl part. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, awesome! I love how like what you guys are all saying too about like normally when you read a book, I mean especially ones where you need to like set the story up, it can be so slow in the beginning. So it was like kind of buckling myself in for this to be like that, and it was like no, it's like bam, right in there. I'm like, okay, let's do this, <laughs> let's rock and roll. I love yeah. that. Um, especially yeah, I have it, to it hooks say... you and you can't stop reading. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> um, no, I was just I was just saying how um, I I actually uh, was in the same boat as Meg uh, Meg that I actually knew about knew the story before I even read the Ooh. book um, because because of where I was in the fandom and stuff like that. Almost like I almost felt obligated to know. You know each of our each of the fandom stories and stuff. So I actually Wikipedia it, <laughs> so I knew what was going Not on. A girl, I know. <laughs> oh man, but it's so different. You know, like even though I knew it, it's so different reading it. You know, and actually getting into the characters and understanding them and stuff. And um, but yeah, the first chapter was just like, wow, you get to you get to meet like all the main characters right away. You know. You, See Clara, you see Jace and Alec and their dynamic, and then you see Izzy and and her, you know, uh, sexiness, I guess. And, Izzy you know, and then you, badass oh. already in the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was really it was really cool, actually, you know, seeing that already. And I love where she's like, "Are you asking if I come here often?" You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's also one of the reasons why I'm really looking forward to the graphic novel. Oh yeah. So I think the first chapter will be really awesome in the graphic novel, and I want to read it. Yeah, they they had the issues up, or they went like, well, they did the first four chapters. And I think they stopped for some reason. I don't know why. I know. Doesn't well, it come yeah, out in like October? Yeah, they're releasing it kind of like chapter by chapter digitally, and then yeah. like after four or five, they stopped. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I think it will be released in. <laughs> How August, far August. along are they on that? Um, I have no idea. They started in like last year, I think last September, I think, or October. I think. I have no I idea. Uh, I'm just. I think that's like, when they started releasing it. Yeah, by chapter by chapter, and then they stopped yeah. after a few months. So I'm like, okay. Well, I'm just wondering, like, but you haven't? Have you read the comics? Like, do you know where? Yeah, it's I read the first off? couple of chapters. They look really good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um. Oh, sorry. I was just reading the comments about oh, chapter okay. one. Oh, High yeah. Voltage Jack, this isn't in chapter one, but he said, Hi, I'm one of the knife-carrying hooligans that I you met last night in Pandemonium. I'm afraid that I made a bad impression and was hoping that you'd give me a second chance to make it up to you. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to mention that, but then I thought, that's not in chapter one. Yeah, it's chapter two, but it, it's yeah. still awesome. Uh, did you guys mention the little shrug? The shoulder shrug. Oh no, I want that. Like, That's yeah. my favorite thing. Oh. That's what I love is when he's just like, "Well, the police can't find a dead body, little Mundy," you know. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, "Just like told ya." <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Jason is sassiness. Oh. Jace being sassy. I'm super, super excited to see this scene in uh in the movie. I mean, we got little snippets of it here and there. And like, um, it's different, but I'm excited for that because, like, I feel like they have to get right into it, and it's kind of more exciting for like a movie-wise than to be in a closet than to be out in public with all this going around, like going on around them. Yeah. And yeah. I'm kind of, but like things I'm gonna miss and kind of like I don't know. I feel like after that moment that they're gonna leave the club and they won't have, she won't have the interaction with Jace and Alec and Isabel, and so I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. But yeah, it's also, really it's also more mysterious when they are in the middle of the club, surrounded by all these Mondays, and they can't see um, them. 
and they are actually killing the demon and Clary, she's the only one in this whole club who can see them and she's, yeah. she screams and Simon notices and perhaps someone else will notice, who knows, and she's the only one who sees them and they're right there but mm -hmm. no one else sees them. So that's really very really good class, yeah. And you, get yeah. That, you don't get that when you're in a closet. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, here's another good line that High Voltage Jack said. This is in Chapter 1, where he says, It's a girl, Jay said, recovering his composure. Surely you've seen one before, Halleck. Your sister is the villain's one. Yeah. Yeah, that one, oh. I like that line. <laughs> I also really like that um, not only do we jump right into the action um, and Clary not knowing why she can see the Shadowhunters and no one else can, but also that the demon mentions Valentine and that then um, yeah. Valentine is the main villain in the first three books. We get right into the we get right into this plot. Yeah. You know, it's not yeah, a build up of character. Yeah. I think the build up of character is the action. I mean you get a sense of who what kind of character Simon is by, you know, him saying that he wants to he's cross dressing and he's sleeping with her, her mom and, you know, you know, trying to get the attention of the girl that he's loved forever. You know, you get that attention or you get that kind of plot basis or that character basis of, of Simon and you get Clary where she's just like not paying attention to Simon and she's very curious and she likes to think you know do what people tell her not to you know yeah <laughs> like that's a, that was an awkward silence sorry I think we're not all reading <laughs> I actually like the way um, that they did it in a movie where she, they're not in a closet only because it just is its so, you know, weird that sometimes in movies they, you see a, they, they show the scene where, where like a door is a jar and all of a sudden they just go in. I'm like, who does that, you know? <laughs> who goes into like a jar doors just because they're curious all the time, you know? So I, I like that it's actually out in the open and stuff. And I think it's just more forthright. Uh, it gives, um, I guess, the audience, those who haven't read the books, you know, more of an idea like, oh, why is she the only one who can see this, you know, type of thing instead of just in the closet where... Are you yeah, telling us that hot. Jason and Alec have to come out of the closet? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to. I had to do it. Sorry. <laughs> Alec is already out of the closet, so. Not in City of Bones, but yeah. Not City of Bones, no. <laughs> I like, also like what Natasha was saying. I love how it is out in the open because like I feel like the atmosphere of the club and like the music and everyone dancing like the atmosphere kind of like makes it more intense the moment so it's kind yep. of like yeah and makes it I love that it's around people that are yeah. dancing and they kill someone right then and there around yeah. people that are dancing you know <laughs> and and you know you got to see Kevin Zeger's really hot arms holding someone <laughs> struggling. I'm sorry, I had to go there. You can see Jamie Wait, rocking who? that hood. <laughs> yeah. I'm in love with, I, I don't know if it's been mentioned on here before or not. I've been so good. That was the first time that I mentioned him. It was so good. I mentioned Meg, it before, though. Megan, you should just post a, a sign right behind on your wall right there yes. that says, I love Kevin Zeger's. <laughs> No, because what if he's ever on a Shadow Hunter hangout? I would have to rip that sucker down. I was so good. That was my first time. I'm so good. You can also wear a t shirt. Oh my god, Megan's gonna buy all the Alec t shirts. <laughs> yeah, you know how um, you know how in Twilight they have this. The, oh, my sister had this T-shirt with with Robert Pattinson's face, like taking up the whole shirt. Like the whole shirt was just his profile, his face. That's gonna be you, make No, Ziggers. <laughs> um, the reason why is it wouldn't fit. First of all, um, <laughs> and second of all, if I want to see Kevin. Zeger's face, I wouldn't put it on myself so that other people see it. I, I need to get those Google glasses 
so that I can constantly have uh, the image gallery of Kevin Zegers just scrolling. No, no, no. I know what you need. You need a huge life-size Kevin Zegers pillow. <gasps> no, even better, a cardboard cutout. Are they going to make oh, it with a pillow? Oh, okay, yeah, we got to we got to move on. We got to move on. We can't talk about Kevin Zegers this much. <laughs> I hope they do cardboard cutout. Someone mentioned that on Tumblr, and I'm like, oh my god. I feel like I would go into, like, wherever they sell them and be like, oh, I want a beach, please. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, City of Bones is good. Yeah, Pandemonium is good. Very, it gets right to the action, and then you, like, can't stop reading. Because, like, my friend got me to read this, and she's like, you're going to love it. You're going to fall in love with Jace. I'm like, okay, here we go. And, like, I'm, like, okay, it's going to be boring the first, and, like, and then, like, I got to a certain part, and I'm just, like, holy crap. And I stayed up the entire night just reading straight through, and then I threw my book at the wall at 2 in the morning <laughs> after the ending, and that's how I fell in love with the series. <laughs> <laughs> well, I discovered the series because back then I was a huge Twilight fan, and I was regularly checking out Stephanie Meyer's website, and, and she once posted that, uh, well, sorry, Edward and... Uh, Jake, but I will be spending my day with Jace. Oh yeah, City of Glass. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, and wait, wait, no, it was not, yeah, she was talking about City of Glass. That was City of Glass, yep. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought, well, she's putting aside her own characters for another character, and I, I thought that was interesting, so so I googled uh, it and found out that the first book is City of Bones, and then, well, I bought City of Bones, and I um, I read it, and then I the next day, or oh, the same day, I was like, I have to get the other You two. lucky little girl. Oh you and God. Natasha are so lucky. I know. I had to. I, I read. I had to suffer through till City of Glass, but like you I was and I, you of, and me both, Alyssa. I, like, I was out front of the bookstore at 9 a.m. when they opened. I finished it at two, and I'm like, I need another one now. I'm like, are they open at two in the morning? No, I don't think they are. So I was like out front, like. 20 minutes before they opened, and they opened, and I, bam, got it, read it straight through, and then I'm like, when's the next one come out? <laughs> and um, then I been waiting with the Harry Potter books. Oh, God, that was excruciating. Yes. And, uh, I... and when the Harry Potter books were first released, I was too young to understand English, so I had to wait for the German translations. I thought um, you were going to say yeah. that you were too young to read, and I was about to kill myself. And the original English uh, version. <laughs> wow. Sorry, what was that? I said I was. I I thought you were gonna say that you were too young to read, and I about killed myself. No, <laughs> I was too young to understand English properly. Yeah, um, I need to read those books. <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't say, don't, don't say. No, that. no. <laughs> let's 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 calm down now. I listen to the audiobooks. Natasha, <laughs> whatever your middle is name is, Shadow Hunter. You go out there and you get Harry Potter right now. <laughs> Everyone needs to read Harry Potter. <laughs> I listen to the audio books, okay. But, yes, I'm more visual. I need to read the books myself yes, to actually do. remember Which stuff. Kind of wand. <laughs> I will use my Harry Potter wand and I will compel you to read the books. <laughs> I actually have them. I just haven't had a chance to read them. <laughs> Meg, where'd you go? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> This is on my, these books are constantly in oh. my drawers next to my bed. <laughs> like, that's the paperback. The the hardbacks are over there. Hello, Jake. You know, the, I have the e-books, obviously. I have yeah, the I audio e books. books. I have to buy the e-books when I first read Cassie's books now, so I'm not tempted to throw it across the room. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> Natasha, you little... Uh, wow, that shocks me. Natasha, that I really shocks wish I had said that. Well, I'll just I'll t I'll tell you this. I I am a lot older than a lot than than most of you, I think. And and so uh, I think you when, and I are kind of close to the same age. When, when they first came out, I was just like, oh my gosh, these are kids' books. How are they getting all so popular and stuff? So, you know, okay. I wasn't really into the whole like kids' books thing at the time. 
Wait, I'll have be- you re- wait, 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 wait. Have you watched the movies? Oh yeah. Okay. Of I have all well, the movies. Well, at least you're a movie fan. <laughs> so. But I I know that there are di- I know that there are some differences, but again, yeah, like I said, I listen to the audiobooks, but I haven't but they they're yeah. hard to remember. Um, you know, so book three them. compared to movie three, it's going to change your life because it's going to yeah. be like, what? This <laughs> happens in this book? Like, <laughs> honestly. I, I, feel I, yep. I, sh- I probably should read them now since I'm kind of in between. I just finished one book, so I, I, could, I have time, I guess. But... <laughs> um, I'm still reading my, my, my um... oh, my God, what? Just don't hit me, okay? I don't hate you. I just think less of you. No, don't, just kidding. Don't, don't hit me. <laughs> oh. Rebound. I'm reading my, still reading my Rebound book. Okay. What's your oh. name? The Clockwork Princess. Oh, I'm, God. I'm stuck in, I'm stuck in Mockingjay. As we all know, <laughs> know. I'm so stuck. Start, I don't. Just start, just start Divergent. But, like, it's going to be slow in the beginning to set everything up, but it gets so good. Okay. What book are you reading? The book am I reading? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm reading um Pandemonium. Ah, I'm reading. I'm reading uh, the last book right now. Yes, I'm yeah, reading. Yeah, there you go. There's and one. I don't oh, know. On the Requiem. Requiem. I'm reading Pandemonium. Yeah. I'm this is the last too. book. I'm actually trying to read. I'm trying to reread it because I'm writing a fanfic from oh. Alex's point of view on this, That's and I haven't gotten been. around to finishing it. <laughs> You've actually finished the book, Natasha. Oh yeah, I feel I, I read it in October. Um, because I had I got an arc from um, I had the arc, so yeah. I read it early. And I've been wanting to write a fanfic on it for since then, but I haven't had a chance to. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I I read those. <laughs> yeah, I, I started reading it. But I don't know. You know this whole situation with Alex and Lena because. I ship Alex and Lena. Oh my god, should I like mute? Hold up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say, but love, 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 just love, take love. out your thing. And that's why I can't really get into it, but right now Thank I'm you let me know what forcing means. myself to read it. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree with you there. I'm I'm a total Alex shipper, so Okay. Good. All right, I guess we should move on to Okay. Alex, you can you can listen now. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> I love Alex, so oh my god, I'm so scared. I, I like um, Alex. <laughs> you can listen now. Okay. Yeah. I I haven't even, you know, I haven't even. I don't even know what this is about, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but you should. You They're should. They're making a TV mean, show. They're making a TV but, show, and it's gonna be completely different. Of course. Like the Vampire Diaries. So. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably. So, um, any other recaps about uh, chapter one? Rest in peace, blue-haired demon. <laughs> yeah, good old the good old blue-haired boy. I really liked the blue-haired boy, and then he tried to kill Jace, and that was the end of it. Yeah, I'm. I think we should. What's the good name? What's the good ship name for Clary and the blue-haired boy? Ship name. Blairy. Blurry, <laughs> bluey, blue, blurry. Uh, <laughs> um, clue, blue Harry, clue, clue, blurry, <laughs> blue Harry <laughs> demon, <laughs> clue Harry demon. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, the actor, he's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the blue haired boy, yes. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that picture. You wait, to... wait, I'm going to share it with you. He is very hot. Wait, the one where he's between Alex's legs? That is an actual picture. Wait, let me pull that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh he's Jesus. very hot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. I don't want oh, him wow. to die. <laughs> oh, well. Um. <laughs> Rest in peace. Um, oh, Natasha, Connell, oh, oh, you yeah. you say the best thing sometimes. Oh my! Oh, that's it. <laughs> and turn to us now. Oh. Oh my God! Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. 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 <laughs> Can I ship the blue hair boy? I think. <laughs> petition to get him in the next movie somehow, not as the blue haired demon, but just as somebody. 
<laughs> he can be he can be like, you know, Raphael. <laughs> is he American or is he is he uh, How old is he? That's he always is my first Canadian. question. Is I should probably like I should I'm, probably watch my tongue before I lust after he somebody. He is Canadian and oh. what, born in 1983. Yes! One year <laughs> older! Oh, shoot, I just gave away my age. Oh, <laughs> hot. Ah, crap. <laughs> I'll, I'll just edit this out and then Alyssa you can repost it. <laughs> the 15 people already know how old you are now. <laughs> yeah, but anybody else that watches it will find out. Do we have any more comments or questions? Um, We have Bat Blue reminds me of Pandemonium. I think that she's talking about the book. Um, Let me refresh. Oh, here's my last comment about the Pandemonium. I find it very interesting that the Pandemonium Club from the um, TID book still exists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that proves that the Pandemonium Club exists because... I'm sorry, that's just too coincidental. Nothing coincidental in her books. No, I know. Nothing. <laughs> so I, I find that very interesting that that she you know, did that, and that it's the Pandemonium Club. I, that was one of the very first things that I thought when reading um, The Infernal Devices uh, yeah. is, is I was just like, the Pandemonium Club, wait, wait a second, that means the Pandemonium Club is actually run by the Pandemonium Club. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was very, very interesting. I love those crossovers. Yeah. Um, anything else? Any Bang Chronicles? Any news? What's the next Bang Chronicle? And when is it coming out? The, the next Bang Chronicle is first. May. Yeah, the Runaway Queen. Oops. And um, like Marie Johnson is writing it, and she actually shared a snippet when we Ooh. chatted with her. And it's on TMI Sauce. It yeah. is. Oh, and Sarah shared one from Edmund uh, Vampire Scones and Edmund Herondale. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I so I love, love it. So I'm hoping. But be that, very like, careful if you're gonna read that chat because it is chock full of Clockwork Princess spoilers. Oh my god! Yes. Yes. So I only go to the TMI source uh, Bank Chronicles snippets page if you have read uh, Clockwork Princess because there are spoilers for Clockwork Princess. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I'm hoping we get like a snippet from Midnight Air. Next oh, month's okay. chat, I would die. <laughs> uh, but the, th the interesting thing is, um, well, there were the two people in the snippet with um, from Edmund, and um, then another person was only hey, mentioned. Hey, you're, you're, you're getting dangerously close to a spoiler there, Missy. I'm Do not I saying have, any names. Do I have but, the power to mute people? Because be, I'd feel really powerful. <laughs> But there's another person mentioned. I think I can that. do that. I can do that. I can do that. You ready? Wait, oh, oh, okay, mute me. Can... Ready? Okay. I'm Megan, and I'm going to get mute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> now she's dim. She doesn't like the color gem. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> ignore me. Ignore me. Wait, did I unmute you? I thought I unmuted you. No. <laughs> I unmuted you. Oh, no. She's still oh. talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, you t you permanently muted her. <laughs> I unmuted. It's not muting anymore. Megan, hit, hit whatever. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, there she is. She's back. <laughs> I was talking about Kevin Zegers because you guys couldn't hear me. <laughs> well, powerful. I think that that is our show then tonight because oh, we've hit our two perfect, hours. That was a perfect two hours. How did we play yep. that? So, yeah. um, oh, but hey, no, 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 yeah, no, uh, no offense like that, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this? Uh! <laughs> All right. That that sound. Sound. Natasha knows how much the dog face oh, cracks me up. You can't do that. <laughs> All it's right, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Well, 
thanks for joining us. We're so ex Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, you are grounded from the Google sounds. I know, it was my the fault. Clock is Sorry. Ticking, everyone must choose. <laughs> Sorry. All right. My fault. I started it. Well, thanks for joining us. We will let you guys know when uh, we will be doing another Google Hangout. Yes, and we'll definitely clock at Princess and. Definitely. Oh, try not to happen. be late next time. <laughs> no <laughs> problem. I was late. I was late last time, so you're good. So, all right. Well, I'm Megan. I'm Natasha. I'm Melissa. I'm Cass. Thank you for joining Hi. us in Shadow Hunter Hangout. Have a good yeah. night. Good night. Bye. Bye.